everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and in this video I'm going to go through some Frankie magazines and look for words and images that I can use in my journals. Uh, specifically today I am hoping to find some things for a vision board that I would like to create for the Intentional Life course that I run and um, I'm looking for things that could be oh I love this this is like a ready-made vision board isn't it <laughs> this is so so cool um, and there are different types of vision boards you can do um, the one that I do for the intentional life course kind of goes into what I want to sort of vision for the year um, and I really like sorry I'm getting distracted by pretty images <laughs> I really like how, you know, sometimes you can start going into like the year or into a project, into a vision board, not really knowing what you're looking for, but then you find images and you're like, yes, I want more of this vibe. And whatever the pictures that speak to you, you can kind of explore deeper and go, well, why am I drawn to that picture? What is that speaking to me about? So this one, you know, I wasn't looking for anything like this. But there's something about it that grabbed my attention and now I want to be curious about that, explore that, ask questions about that. And that's what I mean by you can use magazine images and words as prompts for journaling and self-exploration and self-discovery. So for this one, it's speaking to me about how, you know, I want to find beauty and hold on to beauty and show beauty and offer beauty and all that kind of thing. And this one, this one kind of speaks to me about how you know, I live near the beach and I used to go to the beach all the time, but I've turned into, well, I've always been a homebody, but I've turned into a super homebody. And this maybe is just a reminder to um, go to the beach more <laughs> and do some more Willow Princess walks. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm looking for for my vision board. Um, other people might have when they do a vision board, they might know exactly what they're looking for and look through magazines to find those things. Me, I just kind of have a general vibe. You know, I know what I value. I know what I love doing. I know what I think is beautiful. And so that's what I'm just looking through this magazine for to see if anything like that jumps out at me. Now, I have had questions. I think that I would assume that everyone knows what a vision board is, but I have had questions from people asking, wait, what is a vision board? I love this page. We are taking that page out. That can be a background for some journaling. <laughs> um, so a vision board is basically where you put words and images on a page or on a poster or in a journal. Um, I've done it digitally too. I've done it in a Word document. Um, and it's just, I've done it in retrospectively too. So when I finish a year, look at these patterns, they're very cool. I do a vision board of the year and I put photos of the main events from that year. And then I used to try and do that every year um, so that I would just have one poster size A4 sheet of paper that represented my year. And it's like easy to look back on because I've got, just got this one vision board. Um, and then there's the other way to do it, set, setting the vision going forward for the future of what you would like your year to look like, feel like, what you'd like to do in the coming year. Or you can do vision boards, they call them mood boards. So it's more about what mood do you want to feel, um, maybe calm and peaceful, or maybe adventurous and bold and courageous, or maybe happy and joyful, or maybe... Um, I don't know, whatever it is for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like this shot here. I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the sandals, the blue nail polish, and I'm just kind of cutting it out for inspiration for my own. I want to take my own photo like that of things that represent me. I was thinking of laying out a whole bunch of sequins and glitter on the floor 
and then taking a photo of my feet standing on the glitter. I would really like to do that. I'm, I like doing creative photo shoots. Tiffany Julia does too. So it's like, yeah, I'm not alone. Where just on my hands holding something or little self portraits or of my feet, um, but showing them creatively, artistically, doing photos in a way that um, represents myself through the photo, through photo self portraits that aren't just of my face, but are of my hand or my foot or something like that. So often I get kind of inspiration from magazine images and photography in the design. And these are really pretty little bonsai trees they look like. Um, so now I don't usually get a lot from Frankie magazine. It's not my favorite magazine to um, look through because yeah I don't get a lot to cut out of it but still really fun this is a poster it looks like which could be really cool for um, journal pages so <laughs> the little cat <laughs> so cute I like things like that I love just seeing people's handwriting and notes and raw journal pages and I love like the kind of little frame with the flowers but again nothing standing out that's kind of cool too but not really standing out to me to cut out yes yeah, so it's got very kind of like arty photos which are quirky and fun but it's not me I like more classic, elegant, um, rather than fun and quirky. Um, I'm more, I'm much more like refined, um, graceful beauty, that kind of stuff. I love like seeing all the different types of art. This is fun. Again, it's almost, it's just almost what I love. It's just a bit too quirky. Um, I would like this to be more. Um, yeah, I don't know, more, less of the quirkiness, <laughs> which is great. I love quirkiness. It's just not my personal style. Just the same as, you know, I don't know what else. Steampunk isn't my style of journal. Um, and in terms of like dressing, I like dressing like a princess, ballet core, princess core, fairy core. That's my style rather than, um, you know, rather than bold patterns or prints. Look, those are so pretty. I like just the the blue flowers. White with blue flowers is like one of my favorite things ever. Oh my goodness. Love. <laughs> oh, sweet little kitty cat. So sweet. Yep, I'm a homebody for sure. <laughs> Again, not really my style, but I appreciate looking at it. I like this. This is quite fun. I like, I like pretty things like that that are kind of unique and creative and clever and different. So I do like, you know, unique and clever and creative, but more in the elegant, creative, beautiful way. <laughs> different books. I do like the illustrations too. Again, not something I would cut out, but I like the interesting to look at. They're cool. I like that. The mural bus stops. I do like stuff like that, just as a concept. I remember when I was in high school in year 12, I was part of a community mural project. So that was really fun. I love, you know, decorating spaces, public spaces to add beauty and interest and engagement rather than everything looking the same. Again, I love these collage pages. Nothing's really standing out to me from this one in particular. Not in particular, but um, yeah, that is totally okay. I love, this reminds me of Granny Chic. Those are so cool. I love those floral pattern backgrounds. They kind of look like wallpaper. That's kind of fun. I do kind of like that, but I don't really like those shoes. <laughs> and yellow is my least favorite color. So maybe if it was a field of blue flowers and the shoes were pretty sandals, 
I might like it. See, I love, I like this style of dress. Something about that. I could rip that out. Um, and in future, when I'm doing my altered book, I'm planning to do an altered book using a Frankie magazine where I only use images from all of the Frankie magazines that I have to decorate it. So I can, I'm, I'm going to do second pass throughs of all these magazines to pull things out for that altered book. Um, and a big thank you to my friend who passed on her old Frankie collection to me. Um, so I have these to work with and play with. That's really cute. I do like that. Again, something I can go back to later on. Again, I could use that in the background. I do like, again, that style of dress, just the line and the shape of it. Um, so yeah, I'm not having too much luck finding things for my vision board, but I do also have Daphne's Diary magazine that I can go through as well for more images and words too. Um, and then once I've got enough things, I can sort of create a vision board. Um, I'm not sure if I will do it for the Intentional Life course, actually. I might, I've got a few different courses that I've got. Um, I'm also running the Everything Journal course, which is combined with the Intentional Life course. Um, and anyone who is welcome to join those um, or that, because it is just one big course. I, I love this kind of thing here with the books. Okay, that can definitely go on the vision board um, because I love books. So yeah, I'm really having fun with the Everything Journal course in particular because I, I do the Intentional Life course. I've done that every year for the last two years. This is the third year running. Um, so, but the Everything Journal course, I'm just loving how it's taking shape, stepping into something new and <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's so exciting as the journal fills up and more pages get done. That's when it really is um, the most exciting and I'm just loving flipping through my Everything Journal and looking at the pages and planning the, the future prompts and, and getting ready to do them. See, I like that, that kind of, I wonder if I could put that on my vision board. I love tulle skirts. Oh, I just ripped it, look at that. I love, love, love tulle skirts. I can salvage that, that's fine. So that's kind of my style. I just want simple on top, like a, just a singlet top with a tulle skirt. <laughs> Love that. That reminds me of those people stickers that you get <laughs> in journaling often. So yeah, I think we're coming to the end of this one. And I do like those fun teacups as well. So yeah, I got a few different goodies. Um, Oh, and I've still got the whole stack more to go through. If you would like to see more of that, going through more magazines, just let me know. Um, it's taken me quite a while. I think there were 23 in total and I still haven't got halfway through yet. Um, but yeah, this project of a vision board is helping me have motivation to go through them all. Um, and eventually an altered book project will be fun. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. A special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in December. If you would like to support me in the month of January, I would be so ever grateful. Uh, becoming a patron gets you access to extra videos, including my monthly journal series where I make a journal from start to finish each month. Um, the Ruby tier gets you access to every single digital kit from my Etsy, as well as a new kit each month. And there's different tiers. There's some mail tiers and a journal tier as well. So feel free to check those out. If you'd like to take any of my courses, those are down below in the description box as well. And all the links and places to find me are down there too.